Hey Lemons, welcome back to another video of mine. So I've made a few videos in the past rating all Animal Jam animals or all Animal Jam pets, and you guys seem to enjoy those rating videos, so I thought I'd make another one, this time rating all the dens on Animal Jam. So I'll explain how this works for anyone who doesn't know. Basically, I rank something on Animal Jam from 1 to 10, depending on what I think they should be rated at. This time I'm rating the dens on Animal Jam, which are the houses you can own on the game. This is by alphabetical order, so not in order of when the dens came out. Also, this is just for Animal Jam Mobile, and of course, it's my own opinion, so if you disagree with my rankings for these dens, well that's totally fine, but please don't get upset about it, because I just want to have fun. Just like my last video, I counted how many dens there was on the game. There's a lot of dens for anyone who doesn't know. Currently, there's 88 dens on Animal Jam. So warning, this will be a longer video. And honestly, I didn't know some of these dens even existed. Just like with the pets and animals, there will be some dens that had slipped by my knowledge. So be aware of that when I'm ranking these dens. It's possible I don't really know them that well or certain features inside of the den. I'm pretty much going based on the quality and look of the den, the popularity of the den, the colors of the den, and if the den is practical and or unique. But anyways, with that all said, let's get right into all of the Animal Jam dens ranked from 1 to 10. Alpine Lodge. This den is really beautiful and has the perfect amount of den space, but also outside space. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Ancient Tree. This den looks pretty, although it doesn't really have much den decorating space, I would have to give it a 5 out of 10. Aquarium. This is a nice simple den that can easily be decorated, but also has the feature of being an aquarium, where you can buy and put your own sea creatures inside of the den. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Arabian Palace. This den looks absolutely stunning and the colors are beautiful, plus there's lots of good den space to decorate, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Arctic Burrow. This den's very cute. It's on the smaller side, but that sometimes is a good thing. I give it a 6 out of 10. Balo Bungalow. This den is nice enough, although I'm not a huge fan. I think it's got too many smaller areas everywhere. It doesn't really have that one big central part of the den, and honestly, that can be a bit overwhelming as it's almost too much. I give it a 2 out of 10. Beach House. This den is definitely one of the more popular ones. It's a fun beach den, perfect for the summer season and has lots of great space to decorate inside and outside space to swim and play. I'd have to give it a 10 out of 10. Biolumescent Bay. I didn't even know this den existed until now. I know absolutely nothing about it, although it looks nice. I'd probably just give it a 6 out of 10. Blooming Bistro. Did Animal Jam actually design this? Oh, uh, I, I mean, this den's beautiful and I'm shocked I didn't ever buy it. Also, it looks like it has great den space to decorate. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Botanical Garden. This den's just mid. Nothing more, nothing less. I'd give it a 5 out of 10. Bounce House. This is the perfect den for an 8-year-old. This den is literally just all bouncy. I'm unsure if you can even decorate inside it. I mean, I wouldn't know. I never bought this thing. The bounce mechanic is annoying on Animal Jam. I don't know why I'd want a den of it. I'm giving it a 0 out of 10. Bulldog Bungalow. I don't feel much when looking at this den. It's nice enough, but also kind of boring. Kind of just another mid-den. I'd give it a 5 out of 10. Bunny Burrow. This den's really nice, and I like that it's filled with different underground burrow areas. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Candy Cavern. This den... At first I was fine with it, but then after looking at it more, I realized it looks bad. They could have done so much more of this candy concept. Like, they should have made a beautiful candy cavern that was bright and candy-colored everywhere. Instead, we got a dull, dirt-colored mess with random bright candy in some areas. This doesn't look like a magical candy cavern to me. Looks like a regular cavern with random candy slapped around. I'm sorry, but this one gets a low ranking. I like the concept, but they ruined it. I'm giving it a 1 out of 10. Castle. This den's one of the older ones, and it's pretty good. It's one of those simple, smaller dens that's appealing. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Cat Mansion. This den has the same issues as Balo Bungalow. It's got way too many small areas everywhere, and because of that, it's a bit chaotic. I'd give it a 4 out of 10. Cliffside Village. This den is fine. I've never been a huge fan, but it's not terrible. I'd give it a 4 out of 10. Clover Cottage. This den's really pretty. It's green and blue colors look so vivid and beautiful. This den's very pleasing to look at. I'd have to give it a 9 out of 10. Desert Oasis. This den looks a bit cluttered with all its areas, although it does look so pretty for a desert den. I'd give it a 6 out of 10. Fairy Nook. 
This den is very cute, especially if you like the mushroom aesthetic. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Fantasy Castle. This is one of the older dens, definitely a more popular one too. I really like it. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Farmstead Province. This den is the perfect farm den. I really like this one. I'm sad because I didn't buy this den. I bought the other farm den. I'd give this one a 9 out of 10. Floating Fortress. This den is nice enough. I remember when it first came out, I didn't buy it because of how many separate rooms there was and how you needed to use portals to get to each areas. Although it's not too bad, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Friendship Cottage. Now this den, this is just wonderful. This has to be one of my favorite dens on Animal Gem. I always use this den every single year for January and February. I personally think it's the perfect size for a den. And it looks so pretty and you can easily decorate this den. Plus, come on guys, it has a snow slide. I give it a 10 out of 10. Gingerbread House. This den is another perfect one. I really like this den. It's perfect for the Christmas gem holiday season on Animal Gym and has good den space to decorate your Christmas items. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Glacier Spring Spa. This den is beautiful, although it has no real room to decorate any furniture. There's no room areas, but perhaps decorating isn't the purpose for this den. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Grand Gallery. This den's very pretty. I like how it's nighttime and has bright yellow lights everywhere and has lots of good decorating space too. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Hanging Gardens. For whatever reason, the icon for this den isn't an overview of the in-game den. They actually designed a different style cover for this icon. Some of the dens have these differently designed icons and I have no idea why. But anyways, I took a look at the den and it is pretty nice. I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. Harvest Farm. This is the other farm den I was talking about. I bought this one. And you know, it's not bad. I do like it, although I believe the other farm den is just superior. I'll give this one a 7 out of 10. Haunted Drive-In. This den is an interesting concept, but I don't think anyone was asking for a haunted drive-in. Although, it looks spooky. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Haunted Mansion. Now this den is the true spooktastic experience. Lots of den room to decorate and spooky fun all around. It's also just a popular den. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Heart Shallot. This den is nice, it has some good den decorating areas, and it's a cozy little space. Unfortunately, it's outshined by the Friendship Cottage, which is the more superior Valentine's Day den. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Himalayan Harbor. This is a tough decision. On one hand, it looks fantastic. The bright orange-yellow colors on the blue water look fabulous. I love the little boats on the dock area, although it suffers from the same issue of having too many small unnecessary areas. But... I will make an exception for this den because it looks awesome. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Honey Pot Hollow. This den is stunning. I really love the brown golden colors with the teal cave water. Such a nice contrast. I'll give this one an 8 out of 10. Igloo Peak. This den's good. It's cool how you slowly go down deeper into the igloo and eventually into an ice cavern. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Jamaliday Gift Palace. This den is really massive. So much land, it's almost overwhelming. But it does look pretty and has really good Christmas vibes. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Jamaliday Villa. This den's fine. A bit boring compared to some other dens, but it's not bad. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Jungle Treehouse. This den has a lot of smaller areas, and y'all already know I'm not a fan of that when it comes to dens. I'll give it a 4 out of 10. Lucky Castle. This is a perfect den. I have always loved this one. It is the best St. Patrick's Day den, hands down. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Mangrove Manor. Another den with a different design on the logo. Again, no idea why they did this for some of the dens, but here we are. Either way, this den is really nice, and it's got lots of space to decorate too. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Marshland. It's definitely a pretty looking den, but it's also so massive land-wise, and again, I'm just not a fan of that. Too much unnecessary space. I'll have to give it a 3 out of 10. Meso Falls. Yet another den with a different looking logo. Anyways, after taking a look at this den, I have to say it is so beautiful. This is a dinosaur themed den and I love that. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Moonlight Manor. This den is very popular and pretty. It's a great nighttime themed den with lots of den space and even an area that takes you on a flying rocket ship. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Mountain Hideaway. This den is a cute little area and the perfect size. I really like how beautiful the scenery all looks around the mountain. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Movie Studio. This den is pretty plain looking, although the point of this den is that you can create videos with your in-game animals, which is a cool feature. So knowing that, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Mystical Fortress. This den is really pretty and, might I say magical? I just feel good mystical vibes from this den, so I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Outback Hideaway. 
This den is nice. I honestly don't think much about it. It's just nice. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Painter's Loft. This den is very small and cute. I like how it's a little loft up on a high building. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Pegasus Palace. This den looks stunning and is definitely very magical. I like this one a lot and it's definitely a popular choice. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Phantom Fortress. This den is fine. I've never been a huge fan. It's kind of too massive for my liking. I'll give it a 3 out of 10. Pillow Fort. This den is alright, but what is with the smoky fog overlay? Like, it's a pillow fort. I don't know what's with all the smoke. Where does it even come from? Actually, I probably should ask that question. Either way, this den gets a 5 out of 10. Pirate Cove. This den is just a pirate ship. And that is super dope. 8 out of 10. Pixel Palace. This den's cute. I like that it's sort of pixelated like a Minecraft-themed home. For the longest time, I thought it was called Pixel Palace, but it's called Pixel Place. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Polar Palace. It's very cool, very stunning, although it's not really great for decorating items. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Popa Palace. This den is yet another one that looks very beautiful. Again, not much room to decorate, although looks good. I'll give this one a 6 out of 10. Princess Castle. This is a very popular and known den. I think it's one of the older ones on the game. It's very pink and pretty. I like it. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Pumpkin Patch. I'm gonna be honest, I've never seen this den before. It looks huge. Like, not only do they have a house area and a huge outside with a bridge, but they also have a whole maze in this den. That is too chaotic in my opinion. I like the fall colors though. I'll give this one a 4 out of 10. Python Palace. This den's fine. I don't think it looks as nice as some other palace dens, or other dens for that matter. I'll give it a 4 out of 10. Retriever Rescue Center. Okay, it doesn't really look like a rescue center at all, but uh, this den's actually really pretty to look at, and not too big. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Ridgeside Cavern. This den's fine. I don't really think it's stunning or anything. It also looks a bit too big. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Rockstar Venue. This den's pretty big, although I like the concept for this one. We don't have anything like it. I like the bright purple and dark blue colors. It's so nice. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Safari Manor. This den looks nice. I don't have any other thoughts on it. It just looks nice. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Scottish Lock. This den's very cute and small. Looks like a great space to decorate too. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Seaside Lighthouse. This den gives the perfect rainy and foggy day vibe. It's so peaceful and calming, and as a person who loves the rain and fog, I'm absolutely for that. 10 out of 10. Shamrock Basin. This den is pretty. It also shows the perfect transition between the season's winter and spring. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Shepherd Stronghold. This den looks very nice. It's very clean. A bit too big for my liking, but I have to admit it's a good den. 8 out of 10. Siberian Summer Palace. This one's mid compared to some of the other palace dens. It's also sort of random, like there's randomly just a train going through this palace. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Small house. This den is hard to rate because it's literally just the default den you get when you're starting Animal Jam. It's a great small den if you're just looking to have a cute little area to decorate, but it's a bit plain looking, obviously being the default den and all. I'll give it a 4 out of 10. Snow Fortress. This den looks cool. I like that it's a huge snow fortress, almost looks like snowball fights would take place here. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Snowlight Manor. This den is a reskin of Moonlight Manor, although it's still nice, it's just a snowy version. I'll give it the same ranking of 10 out of 10. Snowy Cytel. This den is very pretty, especially with the blue and purple sky in the background. It's sort of similar to Polar Palace in my opinion, like I wouldn't waste your time buying both of those dens. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Spiral Bay. This den is very unique, and I really like the colors they used. It's very pleasing to my eye. The purple water and orange sky is so pretty. You get a cute little house area to decorate. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Spooky Villa. This den's a bit too massive, although I still think it's an interesting concept and looks beautiful. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Spring Cottage. This den is a notable favorite on the game, and for good reason. It's a simple spring-themed den that's not too huge, but just right in size, and has nice spring colors and vibes. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Spring Small House. This den is just the default small house with a reskin, being spring theme. I think it improves greatly on the regular small house. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Spy Lair. This den is bad. I'm sorry to anyone who likes the Spy Lair, but it's so massive and I literally got lost in it when I first bought it. <laughs> I don't know how I got lost. Not a fan. I'll give it a 1 out of 10. Sugar Palace. This den is very pretty. It's hard to talk about all these palace dens as there's so many of them and they all look so alike and nice. I'll give this one a 7 out of 10. Summer Carnival Big Top. 
This den is very cool, definitely unique from the rest, being carnival themed. You can also play the carnival games in this den, which makes it more fun. Definitely not meant to decorate though, more for carnival games. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Summer Splash Pad. This is an odd den. I want to say it's bad because it's literally all just water slides and no actual den. Basically, you can't decorate this thing. But like, there's so many water slides and they're kind of fun. For that alone, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Super Villain Submarine. This den is an interesting idea. I like it, but it's not anything too special. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Thigh Lion Teak Retreat. This den, you know, I think this den is one of my least favorites. There's so much water and so little bridge to walk on, but it's also so massive at the same time and has way too many little areas. I don't like it one bit. Zero out of 10. Tiger Temple. This den is one of the older dens and it's very cool looking. I think it's pretty popular too. I'll give it a nine out of 10. Treehouse. Now this is a perfect den, one of my favorites. You could decorate it in the two lower rooms, but above those, it has some slides and an elevator lift. It's also one of the older Animal Jump dens. Very cool concept being a treehouse with an underground den area. I'd have to give it a 10 out of 10. Treetop Roost. I don't like this den. Maybe I just dislike the bounce mechanics on Animal Jam because this is the second bounce related den I don't like. I'll give it a 3 out of 10. Vintage Estate. This den looks huge. I think it could be the biggest den on Animal Jam. That is so much space I'd be so overwhelmed to decorate this one. Although it does look nice. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Volcano Isle. This den is definitely unique being the only volcano related den. Though it doesn't look the best to decorate. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Water Park. This den is the perfect fun den. Like, I don't think the purpose is to really decorate this one nice. Like, there's swimming, a beach, there's two rides, and there's a slide. You got a lot of fun features to work with with this den. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Wooly Salon. This den is pretty, and I like the giant water fountain. This is nothing too spectacular, though. Although, it's nice enough. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. And that is all the Animal Jam dens ranked from 1 to 10. That was a lot, but I mean, these videos usually have a lot to rank. I'm actually shocked at how many dens were top notch. Like, if you couldn't already tell, I had a hard time ranking these dens poorly, and only ranked a few low. I guess HHQ just gets the job done on the dens. Anyways, what did you guys think about my den rankings? Did you agree with any of them? Was there any you disagreed with? Let me know down in the comment section, and of course, please be respectful. It's been Liam Puppy. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all next time.